Hello everyone and welcome to the University of Washington Track and Field Center. A nice cool day here in Seattle and that means great running weather. We're here to cover athletics today. That includes the 5,000 meter run, which promises to be spirited. One of the most inspirational stories at these Seattle games is Andrew Peterson, a distance runner from Indiana. Andrew was born with fetal alcohol syndrome. Doctors feared he'd never walk, much less run. Some coaches along the way said maybe he shouldn't run, but he and his father weren't hearing that. Now Andrew runs 75 miles a week, according to his father, and he's a 2019 Boston Marathon qualifier. Most days were up about 5 a.m. And as I'm coming downstairs, Andrew's already up, dressed, and ready to go. Tuesdays and Saturdays, Andrew runs with the elite running group in Indianapolis. And he recovers so fast. Oh, yeah. Monday morning, he runs with a smaller local running group. You're trying to break 121? Yes. For the mini? Wednesdays and Fridays, he does a cross-training workout. Back, back. You're doing great. You're doing great. Whew. Andrew really likes to mix it up. A long run's typically about 20 miles. He does some shorter runs. 33, 32. We didn't go above 33, so you were real consistent with your pace. That's what we're trying to do. Our goal was to qualify for the Boston Marathon, which is a pretty lofty goal. Good run, buddy. How you feeling? Good. Andrew runs typically about 75 miles a week, pretty much year-round. That adds up to about 4,000 miles a year. So... That's a lot of running. My Buddhist mother drank alcohol during pregnancy. I was later adopted. And since I have brain damage from fetal alcohol syndrome nothing in life has ever been easy running has given him a life it's given him vision it's given him a purpose to keep going i think that's why he's not depressed I think that's why he's happy. I think that's why when people speak to him, he's always smiling. Because it wasn't always like that. Andrew couldn't speak. More of inaudible sounds, grunts, things like that. He truly had no voice. Andrew was stiff when he walked. He wasn't able to really bend his knees. He wasn't able to bend at the elbows. Craig was so patient. I remember watching him coach him. Andrew would get frustrated and just shake his head. Craig saying, try it again, try it again, until he would get it. Push, push, push. You feeling it? Yeah. You feeling, you feeling your back? Yeah. With a little nudging, Andrew did cross country. His first practice, the coach called me over, and Good. he promptly Good. started into yeah. this, yeah. maybe Andrew shouldn't be out here. Maybe he can't follow directions. I thanked the coach for his concern. I reminded him that he could expect to see my son every night of practice. I joined the cross country team and gained valuable self confidence. I even found my voice get set go good job Ezra keep it up Brian really keep your body like straight though 
He's just an incredible young man. And in spite of all these challenges, at the age of 25, he's maintained a positive attitude. Come on, beat me. One more. Good job. And he's always the first person to help somebody out. I'm going to have you, like, in lane one. See, my arms are moving like this, so. Yeah, see, there you go. My new challenge is full marathon. After running my last racing two hours and 57 minutes, I qualify for the Boston Marathon. Also, see a far greater reward. I don't ever want your pity. Rather, I need your respect. Much anticipation as Andrew Peterson takes to the track for the 5,000 meter run. The field is stacked with talent. From the start, Kalamazoo, Michigan runner Julian Borst secured the lead with Andrew closely in tow. At the halfway point, Julian turns it on, stretching his lead with every stride. With two laps to go, he's lapped the entire field. Such an impressive feat. Coming to the finish line, Julian doesn't even seem tired. Ultimately, he clocks in at 16 minutes, 26 seconds. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Andrew remains undaunted and brings home the silver. An incredible display of athleticism by both runners. Afterward, an incredible yeah, display of sportsmanship. Thank you as well. For the first player, yeah, give it up for him. Gentlemen, unbelievable race. And you know what I love to see at the end of it? The sportsmanship that you showed to Julian. First, I want to know what this was like for you guys competing against one another. Andrew, you're first. Um... Uh, challenging by, by but I like uh, competing against like other people though. So it's good to have like someone to uh, keep their pace up. So, Julie, man, you were gone. Yeah. Lap the field. Yeah. How did it feel, man? Congratulations on winning the gold. Thank you. It was, it was uh, pretty uh, great and, and a good feeling to to race out there today. So this is the first time that you've done a national competition, yeah. I think. Oh, this you're giving him the one. Yeah, you're giving him the number one. Not that it was the four, though. We can just fake it, though. <laughs> That's TV. Yeah, yeah, That's what we do, yeah. man. How, how would you describe this moment for you to get to come to Seattle? and be a part of this and perform in front of this awesome crowd. What's it like? Oh, really, really excited though. Uh, just, just all the people uh, like supporting Special Olympics. Yeah, yeah, one person can make a difference. I heard back home uh, one time, you were gonna run a 5K and you couldn't get a ride. So you ran to the race. Yeah. Do you just always run all the time? Yeah, I always run all the time, and, and I and I even run for transportation. It's it's the cheapest <laughs> transportation there is. What does running mean to you? Um, it it means uh, community, friendships, and uh, like um, this guy right yeah, here. Like this, like guy. this guy right here. How, how, describe what running means to you. Oh, I like you. I'm. I'm good at it, but I yes, you are. get better at it, though. 
Go ahead, do what we're doing with Harwood, though. That's how I qualified for the Boston Marathon, though, so. I can't wait to see you run that next April, 2019. You guys are both such an inspiration, and thank, thank you. you for that. I appreciate your time. Track athlete Andrew Peterson, like most Special Olympic athletes, arrived hoping for gold. But he will go home a much richer competitor, having found both a rival and a friend. On Monday when I ran the 5,000, uh, I didn't know this guy from Michigan, his name is Julian. So uh, so he actually got me in the 5,000 and then so he, uh, so I got second, second in that one. Why did you try to give him the number one right off your chest? Oh, you're He's giving him the one. Yeah. He's you're giving him the number one. I was Cause I, uh, cause that's what like other athletes like, they, they just had to uh, uh, like, like show uh, respect to other people and just be able to like say, hey, even though I could have done better, uh, uh, he, Ran a great like like race or so. For first player, yeah, give it up for him. But, but I think Julian has a um, like a uh, a friend to me though, kind of uh, like a, a best friend though, and and hopefully like down the road that me and him can kind of like compete against him, uh, each other like again like next year though. If it if it wasn't for him though, yeah, and he would have like pushed me like even harder though. You know, even harder. Julian wanted to be there to cheer on Andrew when he ran the 1500 meter finals. You were here cheering for his race just now. Why did you want to cheer for him? Um, because I'm a, uh, his friend and, and he, uh, before his race, he asked me to, so I wanted to uh, express uh, sportsmanship to so that's why we became friends instead of enemies. Peterson used a strong kick to win his first gold medal, and the friends met at the finish line. Hey, thanks for being like my inspiration or so. Two great competitors who raise the bar of competition each and every time, along with sportsmanship. Someone else who was raising the bar here in Seattle was the sparkling diva, Divina Volta. The Hawaiian track star earned another title, gold medal winner.